Kyle Ramos here, strongmangoodmen.com. So today I want to talk about the honeymoon phase. So this is very important to know what the honeymoon phase is and that it's a real thing. So when you first start dating somebody, you're in that honeymoon phase. This is the blissful, everything's phenomenal, um, they can't do anything wrong, uh, their hair is always perfect, everything they do is perfect, all we want to do is run around, hump like rabbits, and everything's great, right? That's the honeymoon phase. Well, there's science behind this. So, the honeymoon phase lasts between 12 and 18 months. Now, the honeymoon phase is, there's actually chemical changes in your brain. There's chemical changes in your brain, in the chemical makeup of your brain which causes you to have this euphoric feeling about this person. You have to get past that before you make any crazy decisions, right? Because your body is chemically altered and telling you to look past certain negative traits that otherwise you might not be able to deal with, right? So the honeymoon phase is 12 to 18 months, right? You have to get past that 12 to 18 months and then give it another year or so before you decide to have kids with somebody, decide to marry somebody, um, you have to do it because you have to get past the time when your chemical makeup of your brain is off balance. You have to get back to the baseline to where you know, you're know you at a normal, your normal, you know, things, your normal chemical balance, and then say, okay, do I really want to be with this person? Is this person the person that I want to be with? Can I deal with X, Y, and Z? Or maybe once you get pat, everybody's had this happen to them, right? But you're in the honeymoon phase, everything's good. Sometimes it's six months, sometimes it's 12 months, right? Whatever it is. And then all of a sudden, every little thing that this person does annoys the shit out of you right and you just can't stand this person and you went from being on cloud nine to wanting to run away to vegas and get married by elvis to being like oh i don't want to be with this person anymore <laughs> so we've all been there right everybody's been there so you have to get past that phase because you're just not making rational decisions during the honeymoon phase. So, you have to get past the honeymoon phase. A lot of people know about the honeymoon phase from experience, but they don't understand that there's actually chemical changes in your brain. And so you can't make decisions, life-altering decisions, when you're, you're quite literally high. That's what it is, you're high. Uh, your, your mind is altered. So make sure you do that. Make sure um, you you get past the point in where your chemical makeup has changed, and you get to a point where you're thinking rationally before you decide to get married, before you start to have kids, move in together, buy a house together, buy a car together. You can't do any of these things when your when your mind is literally not balanced um you just can't do it you can't do it and I, the reason i bring this up is because everybody's like oh i know you know the honeymoon phase we get over most people don't know there's actually chemical changes in your brain so do yourself a favor don't do anything stupid while you're literally high that's what it is don't do that so hopefully this helps you guys out strongmangoodmen.com uh, you can join the men's group. You can get one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, yeah, thank you. There's also my book list on there, too, of books to read. It's phenomenal, and it's always growing. I keep I always add to it uh, whenever I come across a really good book. So, anyways, thank you again, strongmangoodman.com.